Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this video, we'll look at working with the pick tool. You can find the pick tool up here at the top of the toolbox. Just left click and you will switch to the pick tool. The pick tool is the most used tool in Corel Draw. With the pick tool, you can select, move, scale, duplicate, and do many other things with objects in Corel Draw. The pick tool is a dynamic tool with multiple functions in Corel Draw. The primary function of the pick tool is to select, move, scale, stretch, and skew objects and selection of objects in Corel Draw. For example, with this simple vector object, if I just left click one time, it will be selected. I can also use the pick tool to lasso objects. Left click, hold down. Now I'm lassoing, release, and I've selected three objects. If I want to select two objects, left click, hold down. Don't go past the rectangle to the left. I'll select two of the objects. Now, we also have available our right-click contextual menus from the pick tool as well. And we can move between the pick tool and other tools very easily in Corel Draw. Here I have a square, but I have my options set to enable node tracking, which makes a big difference, and I'll get into that later. But if I double-click on this, I'll switch from the pick tool to the shape tool, and I can start to work with the lines and nodes. I can go to my space bar and change back to the pick tool by just pressing on the space bar on my keyboard. I can also select text objects. Left click to select, then double click, and I'll switch to the text tool. Now, if I go and hit the space bar because I'm in the text tool, that's not going to bring me back to the pick tool. So I'll have to go back to the toolbar because I'm in the text mode. If I have objects with effects, such as the envelope tool, here's some text in an envelope, and we'll cover the effects in later sessions. We're just going over the pick tool now. I select that object, left click one time to select it, double click, and now I'm in the envelope tool. Hit the space bar on my keyboard, come down here to the drop shadow, double click on that. Now that changed to the text tool. That's because my pick tool is over the text. I'll have to go back to the pick tool, but if I come down here to where the drop shadow effect is and make sure that I click on that and not the text, the pick tool will change to the drop shadow tool. Let's zoom in here. I'll press forward on my center mouse wheel and we'll take a look at this just so that we understand it very clearly. I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard, go back to the pick tool, click off. Okay, now I'm back. If I select the text and double click on that, I'm going to change to the text tool. Go back to the pick tool. But if I come down here, select based on the effect area of the object or of the design, double click on that, and then I'll change to the effect tool or the drop shadow tool. And then I could left click, hold down, make adjustments to that, click off, and then hit my space by my keyboard and go back. The same thing with the extrude. Double click, change to the extrude tool. Space bar back to the pick tool. Down here with the contour, make sure I'm clicking on the contour. Double click, change to the contour tool, and I can make adjustments. Click off, space bar, back to the pick tool. The same thing here with perspective. Double click, and I've got the perspective tool. Spacebar, and I'm back to my pick tool. So that's just the basics of working with the pick tool. You want to keep in mind the spacebar and the fact that we can use that to toggle between tools in Corel Draw 
without having to go to the toolbox every time we want to get to a tool. We'll wrap here for the pick tool and we'll continue in our next video.